Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, just walking up Death Mountain right now. Uh, by the way, if you save and quit the game, uh, you will, uh, it, and you go back into your profile, it will put you into Link's house. So, it's a kind of a dangerous thing to do, unless you can create a save point outside of the actual game itself. It depends on where you are in the world and how far you really want to travel whenever you get back into the game. Also, there are some rocks here that can sometimes have rupees here. I remember grinding off of these rocks for some reason. I don't know why I would, but... Anyway, let's read this sign. Land of the Gorons, Goron City. Let's head on in. Speak to me. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from the hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like an ancient history like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't eat, uh, stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Uh, I want to eat the top uh, sterloin rocks from the Dongo's Cavern. Well, gonna have to wait. Also, that's a gigantic Goron rolling around in circles, so... Hey! It's dangerous for a little kid like you to be come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the redstone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here. You're looking for a spiritual stone. You must mean that delicious looking redstone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny nib little lick. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself in his room, saying, I will wait in here for the royal, for the royal family's messenger. Okay. No, nope, don't talk to him, please. Just check the thing. It looks like something used to be set in the stand. Okay. Anyway, let's jump down, all the way. Just roll to be safe. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room, saying, I will only wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Okay, so I guess there's not going to be any extra information given to us right now. Uh, if we go up here though, one of these pots will always, always, have a decker stick in it. That's useful to know. Oh, we don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Eh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow. Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even deku sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to uh, conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it out away, uh, away before it completely burns. Or just use your sword to put it away instantly. By the way, I hid a stick somewhere. Hee hee hee. And that's the one in the pot that respawns. So. It's good to keep that in mind. But let's go down here. And check out this. You're standing on a soft carpet for guests. It feels so plush under your feet. That's a random piece of information. But anyway, let's play Zelda's Lullaby. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, 
But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We have... We've uh, had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But... This is a Goron's Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Okay, well, also if we break this pot, we get another stick for free. So that's also good. And one of these pots, I'm pretty sure... No, there's just another stick. Where'd it go? I lost it. It might have gone into the wall. That's okay. There's another pot here. Oh, there's the stick. It was in that pot. That makes sense. Anyway, let's get out a stick now. Because we can actually do something with it. Since there's fire in this room, we can take this and run. And light these torches out here. Okay, one. Two. I might also reset my stick so I can make sure that I get it all the way through. And there we go. That's all of them. And that makes that pot spin there. But there's a few other things we can do now that we have these torches here, because we can keep the fire going. We can light these bombs here for one thing. These bomb flowers. And that'll open up this room here, so we can go in here. And this is a Goron shop. Exactly what it says. There's a red potion there and a couple of hearts, but there's nothing else that we really need from here at the moment, so... But, I mean, if you need a red potion, it's a, it's a spot to buy some. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, though. Probably more expensive than I'm willing to pay. Uh, but one other thing we can do now, with this fire, is light that up and run. As fast as we possibly can. I believe it's probably on this floor. I wouldn't imagine they want to put it far away. We can light up these torches for one thing, so we can get the fire even further than this. Just like that. Please let me talk to you. Please let me talk to you. Stop getting up and getting down. <sighs> How was Big Brother? I see. By the way, do you know the music coming from deep inside this tunnel? We all like this music. Well, that's good to know. Uh, but anyway, we, we should recognize this music. Just a little bit. Actually, no, we shouldn't. Because I haven't actually gone to that place yet. I forgot about that. That's fine. We're supposed to recognize this music because it's somewhere we could have gone a long time ago. But this is a very nice shortcut uh, to this place, so. Hey, over here, hoo hoo. Link, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoot hoot. After going through the lost woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh! What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo hoo hoo. Ho. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I don't. If you are courageous, you'll make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sound. Sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot. So yeah, we're in the Lost Woods, which means if we go the wrong way, we get teleported out to the entrance. Uh, the th interesting thing about the entrance is where it is. Because it's actually in the Kokiri Forest. So, way up here, just behind this house, which we can climb up this ledge to get up to. Uh, there's a vine. That we can climb up. Which allows us to get up to where... What's it called? where the entrance to the Lost Woods is, so... I could have done had a look at this earlier, but I th felt it was a lot more efficient to do... this now, rather than later. So now, let's go see what we can do in here. So if we go the wrong way, we'll get teleported out to the entrance, but... I, I know my way through pretty well. Come on, please. Now, I also want to do a few other things while I'm here. So let's get out a slingshot and shoot the middle of that target over there. If I can aim properly, please. 
If you get it in the right spot, you'll say 100 over there. You need to get it three times in a row. And this Deku Scrub will come out. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give you a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And we get another upgrade to our seed bullet bag. It has become bigger. Now you can carry more bullets. This bag can hold 50 bullets. You can get any of the bullet bag upgrades in any order and it'll still work fine. But this is the last one we get, and now we can ha have 50 shots on our fairy slingshot, sorry. Now, before anything else, I'm going to keep going and do what we're supposed to be doing here. You can kind of hear when the music's louder and you're going into a tunnel, so that's how you're supposed to know which way to go. There's also this here that we can't do anything with. But again, Navi turns green then goes to a spot there. Which could be big. There's also a secret side path over here that I'm not going to do anything with at the moment. But I will keep going this way. And then this way. You can use the map as a way to figure out which way I'm going if you need to. And then we want to go this way, through this exit. And we end up in... The Sacred Forest Meadow. And now we have a wolf horse. Draw it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. So we want it to attack us, but we also can jump attack its tail to take it out in one hit. Keep that in mind, that its tail is its weak point. Now let's equip the uh, Deku Shield. And let's go through here because there are some red Deku Scrubs. Or a, a, a mad scrub. If you get close to it, it will hide in the grass. So we need to have uh, a shield out so we can repel its shots back at it, and then we can kill them if we want to. And that's just basically how this is going to go. Ow. We can also just stab it if it's attacking us, but again, we really don't need to. Just need to get through this place. You can see on the map that there's a, a path to go through, and then up to this point we can just go either way and it'll work. If the mad scrubs get back to their leaves, they can go back into them as well, so need to act act fast. Okay. Let's head on up this way. Some more scrubs that we can just go past if we want to, or we could take them out to make it easy for ourselves. Rolling is supposed to mean you can't be hit or take damage, but I don't know if that's how true that is. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the, the, the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yes, I do. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Follow along with Saria's song. <laughs> great, great! Please, don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. You've learned Saria's song. 
When you want to hear my voice, play Sari's song. You can talk to me with me anytime. Let's see how that goes. You want to talk to Saria, right? Yes, I do. Link, is this... This is Saria, can you hear me? I don't mind talking to you using the ocarina's magic, but I'd really like to talk to you face to face. Do you want to talk to Saria again? Yes. I don't mind... Oh, okay, it's the same as before. Also, we are face to face, so I don't know what she's complaining about. But anyway, that's everything we need to do here for the moment in the Sacred Forest Meadow, but there is still some stuff to do in the Lost Woods, so let's go take a look at that. Ow. The, if the nuts collide in midair, they will also stop. Now, this is going to be something important at the moment, so let's go into this hole here, because down here is one of the important things we need to learn. This is a fairy's fountain. And these fairies, we, if we touch them, we'll get a full heal. But if we put one into a bottle, which is going to mean I'm going to drink some of this milk. And milk again. We can actually put one into a bottle. This is the fairy spirit which we could buy in a shop. And now... As long as we have one in our inventory, it doesn't need to be on a C button. Uh, this tiny fairy is a reliable partner who will revive you the moment you run out of life energy. Once you set it to C, you, though, you can ask for its help anytime. So this is a, a full revive, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a mostly revive? I can't remember. But this will revive us if we die, and it also means we can use it as a heal if we need it. Just in, in normal point in time. So this is quite a helpful thing, but I'm just going to take one for the moment, and let's go somewhere else. I usually just use fairies and bottles and nothing else. I, pro I, I probably could do better if I was doing it differently, but that's just how I usually do it. Anyway, let's head on back to the Lost Woods now, since we have everything else that we need for the moment. Also, I'm pretty sure the wolf host doesn't respawn, so... Don't need to worry about that anymore. Hoo hoo! Do you, did you learn the Ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the Ocarina with C, where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. Hoo 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 hoot hoot hoot. Wanna hear what I said again? No I don't. Melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Oh believe me, they're drilled into my brain for the rest of eternity. But anyway, we, this is the, the only time, this is the first time, the earliest point in time I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm saying things over and over. It's fine. This is the earliest point in time we can actually get Sorry's song, so... We can get most of the songs... ...off the top row... ...this early on, before even getting Sorry's song, so... But anyway, let's head back into the forest, because there's still some more things for us to do. It was just faster to go back... ...out... ...getting lost. So let's hop up here... ...and let's play Sorry's song. This is also the Skull Kid, by the way. Just so you know. The one, the only. You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. And he gives us a piece of heart for playing Saria's song for him on the stump. So there we go. Can I talk to you otherwise? I don't think so. Skull Kid. Is this what happens to kids who get lost in the forest? He seems unhappy with to have no face. Oh wow, that's interesting, I suppose. I didn't realize they didn't have faces or something like that. Anyway, it's fine. Also, this is the bridge out of the Kokiri Forest, so that's cool that we can go here. But now, I also want to go up here and repel this 
Deku Nut at this guy, because this isn't a Deku Scrub, this is a Deku Shop. I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku Sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Let's make a deal, okay. Thank you very much. So now our maximum number of Deku Sticks is 20. Which is interesting that you can just buy this upgrade here. But there we go. Deku Salesmen are quite helpful for things, usually. They are around and they will sell you things that you might need. But sometimes some of them will just have actual upgrades. Not very often, though. Anyway, I think there might be one other one that might be able to get nearby, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Never mind, it's fine. I remember the other thing that I'm thinking of. Ah, uh, but I do want to go over this way still. Because it's on the path to Goron City again, because we can take that shortcut between Goron City and the Lost Woods now. Which will be helpful for getting around Hyrule nice and quickly. Especially if we save and quit. But now, if we go up here, we have two Skull Kid characters. And we want to actually play a song with them, so let's get out of Ocarina. Follow along with our song on your ocarina, we'll lead you into it. And they will do a random song that we need to copy. From memory, except I'm gonna struggle with this because my control stick is messing me up. Too bad, hehe. <laughs> do you want to play some more? Yes, I do. Follow along with our song on your ocarina, we'll lead you into it. That was quite a nice ses uh, session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And they give us a green rupee. One rupee. Do you want to play some more? Yes, I do. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. Also, the A button is also a note that we can play, but we haven't had to at this point. No, come on, I pressed... Oh, I pressed B, probably. It's fine. Yes, I want to play some more. Sometimes you can get uh, songs that are easiest to rem remember. Okay, that was quite a nice session, as a token of our friendship. Please take this. Uh, blue rupee, that's worth five, so we've got six so far from these guys. Yes, I want to play some more. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it.
Still going. No, ah, 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 ah. I pressed the wrong, le I pressed the wrong left, I pressed the right instead of left. There we go. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And we get a piece of heart from all that. There we go. They're gone. And that's all of that we needed to do. That's everything in the Lost Woods that we need to do for the moment. We can go back to Grand City after all that time. Oh my goodness. There's quite a fair bit to do, but anyway. There's also a few sculptures that I could go after if I emptied a bottle, but for now, let's just go this way. Feels nice to be back here. Also, there is a path out of here that we can take if we need to, so we're not locked into here. That's the wrong way. We can go up this path. There's a lot of these tunnels that go, go back up to the main area. This goes up to that floor, but also this floor over this, this bit over here has these pots here. And one of them has a blue rupee in it, so I'm going to take that. Actually, two blue rupees, that's interesting. And this should be back at the top level, so... We can't actually get out. We're not actually stuck if we jump down, so... Just wanted to point that out so we're not concerned by for any reason. But anyway, let's head on in here now. And see what we can do. This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Well then, take this. Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Wahoo! <laughs> Wah! Yeah! Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Uh, was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire, too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is uh, our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give you it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's Cavern? and prove you're a real man. That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you uh, this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up bomb flower using A. You got the Goron's bracelet, now you can Pull up bomb flowers. Stand next to one and press A to pull it up. Destroy the monsters in the Dodongo's cavern and become a real man. Then we can talk about the spiritual stone. 
Well, there we go. We have the Grant's bracelet now, which is on the equipment screen. It's automatically just there, so don't need to worry about that. But anyway, looking good, looking very good. Now, there's just one more thing I want to do real quick, if I can. It might be a little bit difficult, though. Also, we have one, two, three rupees. Just want to point that out. Okay, so, we have this pot now that's spinning around. We can see that it's open now. And if we go over here, we can pick up this bomb flower now. We have only a few seconds before it explodes, so we need to run. And if it's at the right time, we can actually throw it into the pot there. But that's going to be difficult to do since it spins around and moves, so... We only have limited time to actually pick up this bomb flower and move it, so... Just hopefully we'll get it in the hole, thank you. And then whenever it blows up, we have a 1 in 3 chance of getting what we need from this. Depending on what face shows up on the pot when it stops spinning. Okay, wrong one. Cool. Oh. Ah. This is my childhood all over again. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Get nothing out of that. Let's go inside the Dodongo's cavern using bomb flower. Finally! This makes absolutely no sense, by the way. It just, uh, I think it depends on where it is when it's... Which face is facing completely forward when the bomb explodes, basically. That is, like, towards the, where the camera is when it's spinning. Anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.